Everyone? Yes, my name is Mwiti Mary. I'm the CEO of the Council of Governors. And first, may I say how pleased I am to have been actually part of this forum that has received a very critical report that concerns each and every person in this country. When the results were being read, in fact, I thought and asked myself, what are those mechanisms that are supposed to use to ensure that there is feedback and this information gets to the right persons that are sitting on the decision-making table, and especially at a time like now. And I thought for once, the Council of Governors offers that platform that uh, 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 the in-charge uh, Bithe you talked about, the 47 counties where actually the real action and implementation takes place. And for that reason, this needs to get to the table as we then envisage the next general election that comes, so that as we start, the next leadership gets to understand what the public feels about governance, what the public feels about public participation, what the, the public feels about project management, and what they feel about their government in terms of inclusivity and in terms of ensuring that their decision is hard in decision making. May I begin by congratulating the Center for Multiparty Democracy and International Institute of Democracy, Democracy and Electoral Assistance as, you launch, as you've already launched this important report that is very critical to us as a nation. This launch comes at a right time when we are preparing for the, our third elections under the Constitution of 2010, an opportunity for Kenyans to once again participate in the governance of the country. The Constitution of Kenya 2010 is held as one of the most progressive constitutions in the world, as the report has actually shown. The constitution ushered in a devolved system of governance, different from the hitherto centralized system, which was characterized by inadequacies, including bureaucratic inefficiencies, lack of accountability and transparency, marginalization, unequal distribution of national resources, lack of public participation, patronage, rent-seeking, ethnicity, among others. The essence of having a devolved system of governance is, among others, one, to promote democrat uh, democratic and accountable exercise of power, to give powers of governance to the people and enhance the participation of people in the exercise of powers of the state and in making decisions affecting them, to recognize the right of communities to manage their own affairs and to further their development, to promote social and economic development and the provision of proximate, easily accessible services throughout Kenya, and ensure equitable sharing of nat national and local resources throughout Kenya, facilitate the decentralization of state organs, their functions and services from the capital of Nairobi, and lastly, to enhance checks and balances and the separation of powers. And I tend to think the report that we've received today has been able to address holistically the eight pointers, pointers upon which devolution envisaged and actually requested to see these things happen. Public participation in this Kenya is a right and not a token indeed, it's a crucial pillar of Kenyan constitution. It promotes democracy by providing people with the opportunity to take part in decision-making processes in government. The constitution envisaged a society where all citizens can actively and meaningfully engage in all spheres of their lives. Nine years into devolution, we must ask ourselves hard questions. One, have we, lived, have we delivered to the people of Kenya their aspirations and clamor for devolved system of governance? Have we enhanced participatory governance through devolved structures at the county level? Are men and women, old and young, able and able differently? People of different tribes and creed, have they participated in key decision-making processes that affect them? I think the answer has already been given through this uh, uh, report, and I believe you are quite aware as we move forward on what needs to be done by each and every person. I want to allude to the fact that public participation is one of the key things the Council of Governors is taking extremely very critical, and I want to give a pointer of a successful public participation that has happened in this country, Makwen being one of the uh, counties that has embraced this, and we as Council of Governors actually conducted a peer-to-peer -peer learning so that we involve other counties to, to see exactly what is happening at Makweni County. And I want to uh, inform this seated, gathering seated here 
that more than 12 counties nowadays have embraced public participation in all the decision-making processes, in management of their resources, in conceiving of projects that, to, that are to be undertaken. And I want to tell you, as a result of that, people are more aware of one, what needs to be done, and the levels of accountability have been enhanced now that people are aware in terms of what needs to go where, how should it be done, are things that are envisaged to be done in terms of developmental projects, infrastructure development, have they been done in the right way, including scrutiny in terms of the project uh, BQs and the like. And for that reason, I think this is one of the things that we've taken quite serious, seriously. Number two is a good practice in um, uh, Elgo Marrakech about project management, where counties are involved and citizens are involved in achieving and creating and conceiving projects that are to be undertaken by the county. As a result of that, there has actually been tremendous improvement in terms of the projects that address the real needs of the people. Another example is Kiambu County and other counties that have embraced the grievance um, a redress mechanism that involve the public in, in terms of airing out their grievances, a system and a structure that has really worked. And I believe this is the essence of public participation. I have said again, public participation is actually a right to every a citizen. And I think this is what we need to ensure that happens. Going back to the report, it has extremely opened my mind. And I think because we have a very good platform that is called a Marifa Center, a hub of uh, disseminating information and a hub of sharing best practices with the authority, I think this could be actually a platform to disseminate the findings of this, this report so that as we even envisage and go to the next election, then th these are some of the things that we need to put on the table. And as I conclude, I want to say in preparation for the uh, uh, election that is coming forth, I want to address a fact that uh, we will have actually a new leadership, both at the national government and, that, and the county government. By constitutional mandate, 21 governors will be exiting the leadership at the county level. And of course, the trajectory of this country, you know what happens. I don't want to mention the percentages. And for that reason, we will be having a whole new leadership in the country. Then how do we ensure? Because COG is actually developing induction manual so that you're able to put the new leadership that comes in on a right footing. And I tend to think the report that has been presented today gives an opportunity to shape the agenda in the next leadership that comes off. How then do we partner with uh, CMD, with InfoTrack, and all other partners seated here to see that the findings of this report find their way into the new leadership that comes in? We have said again, information is power. And when they have statistics and real statistics, because I want to confirm that InfoTrack, InfoTrack is one of the institutions that has actually credence in terms of what they do. Once this is given to them, I tend to think even in terms of reversing and, uh, and of course safeguarding the gains that we've made, we'll actually see to it that we have a better country that has all people that are included in decision-making table, and for sure, we will have a better institution and a country in the future that is all inclusive, that is accountable, and that has knowledge in terms of what, what needs to be done. Otherwise, I want to congratulate you again for this uh, endeavor and the venture, and I believe this report is not for this forum again. Let's take it upon ourselves. In whatever little circumstance that you're in, she said again, every person can actually participate in public participation in our forums. How can we be able to disseminate this? Thank you again for this, and we really appreciate every effort. Thank you.